This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. And the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We're talking last week and this week about our covenant of right relations as a congregation. This is the covenant that was passed by the gathered membership in May of 2017. It is the explicit version of the implicit covenant that we share as Unitarian Universalists in Lincoln, Nebraska. And each day over this series, we're drawing out one of the statements that is core to the covenant. And the statement this week, or today, is on open-mindedness. And this is what the covenant says. Our many sources remind us that insight comes from multiple persons, faiths, times, places, and bodies of knowledge. In order to truly accept one another and encourage our spiritual growth, as the third principle calls us to, we will strive to be informed and think about our think through our positions, then listen and hear before responding. Openly share our beliefs and support others sharing their beliefs and spiritual journeys. Examine the forces that disadvantage some while benefiting others. Work to overcome our prejudices and strive to be inclusive of diverse theologies, cultural heritages, sexual orientations, and gender expressions, as well as varied social and political perspectives, to name only some. Embrace freedom of expression from the pulpit and in the community, including dissent. And be open to that which both affirms and challenges our growth. This was written in May of 2017. This was written, I think, within, <laughs> within one month of the previous UUA uh, president in Boston resigning his position. So I'm trying to think about what I want to say about it in 2021. Here's one of the places that I, I think it's fair to say that Unitarian Universalism has evolved over the last four years. And I think if we were writing this covenant now, we would, we would frame this a little bit differently. The covenant right now says that we covenant to examine the forces that disadvantage some while benefiting others. The commitment that I hope we can make, that I make myself, and, and that I think our membership largely shares, is that it is not enough to simply commit to examine the forces that disadvantage some. Examining is, uh, is the action of a third party. Our commitment, our responsibility, and the one that I hope I'm held accountable to, is not simply to examine, but then to work to change the forces that, that disadvantage some while benefiting others. We've talked a lot over the course of this year about that, and we'll, we'll continue talking about it. And it's hard work. It's tied up with those accountability conversations that we talked about last week. It's tied up with this question of dismantling white supremacy. It's tied up with our, our work to recertify ourselves as a welcoming congregation. It's work that we're not always going to agree on. Another part of this covenant says that we will embrace freedom of expression from the pulpit and in the community, including dissent. So there are times when we will not be on the same page. But I hope, I hope that our commitment is both to be open-minded and to be committed to the work of making the world a better place. To use what we find out through our open-mindedness, to use what we find out when we do this examining and then work hard to make it better for the next generation. See you tomorrow.